And of course, when the hippies arrived, like I'm 12 kilometres from Nimbin, and we we're farming, and of course, when they arrived, they were talking about smoking weed. And I mean, the only weed we knew was Lentenna and Crofton weed and Bracken fern, you know, that type of thing. But anyway, it was a bit of an education. I met some friendly hippies. They were at the local shop. They were driving a beat-up combi that snorted to a stop. They told me where they were staying and they said, come out for a feed. We'll cook up some food and later on smoke some weed. Well, I was astounded. Fancy people being so damn poor. <laughs> Having to smoke weeds and can't afford tobacco anymore. <laughs> so I bought two packs of winnies and I shoved them in my jeans thinking, the tucker won't be much, so I'll be lucky if it's beans. <laughs> Lemongrass or chamomile. As they offered me some tea, I said, well, it's hot and in the pot, it's all the same to me. Me, I had nothing but pity for them. Making tea from straw and having to smoke weed strips is awful being poor. <laughs> well, they broke up me winnies and they put some green stuff in. I reckon that's the weed and some black gunk from a tin. I asked them what that was and they said, hashies. So I said, God bless you. <laughs> Hippies are unhealthy, this poor bugger's got the flu. <laughs> well, as they passed the smoke around, they put some blotting paper in me tea. <laughs> I asked them what that was, and they said, that's LSD. <laughs> that's when I got to thinking, this bloke's a little slow, because didn't we go decimal years ago? <laughs> Anyhow, I forced down the mung beans and drank that awful tea. They tried to give me more and said, no, one's enough for me. My head was feeling strange and I thought some air will make it right. But when I tried to move, I saw the strangest flame in sight. Me hat, it turned into a turtle and walked off the chair. I tried to focus on that hippie, but he was no longer there. He'd been replaced by a monkey. And I thought a pinch will make me wait, but when I lifted up my arm, it turned into a tiger snake. <laughs> there was rainbows on the wall and I couldn't find the door. There was green grass and flowers where there should have been a floor. <laughs> and the calendar was counting out the months and ended up in November. <laughs> well, everything spun in circles. That's the last thing I remember. But that hippie, he woke me next morning and he really is a drip. He knew I hadn't left the place, but he said, did you like the trip? <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going back on Sunday. I swore off that weed. I think we're going driving. Because you know what he said? We're going to do some speed. <laughs>